Today we learned the Justice Department is now conducting its own investigation into the Jordan Edwards shooting. That investigation revealed as the Dallas County DA sat down for a face-to-face -face meeting with the Edwards family. The 15-year-old was shot and killed by now-fired Balt Springs Police Officer Roy Oliver. Oliver is charged with murder. And there is new information tonight about the gunfire heard just before Oliver started shooting. Investigators say it came from a nearby nursing home parking lot. Fox 4 Sean Rabs at Frank Crowley Courthouse tonight with the, where the family met with the Dallas County DA earlier today. Sean. Hey, Steve, good evening to you. That U.S. Justice Department investigation, separate from the DA's, a parallel investigation. The DA wanted some private time with the Edwards husband and wife to share personal thoughts and talk about this case. And we did learn more now, tonight now about the gunfire that drew the attention of those two Balt Springs police officers that ultimately led to the killing of Jordan Edwards. The pain of losing their son still painted across the faces of Charmaine and Odell Edwards as they entered the DA's office. At the same time, we learned from sources investigating the killing of Jordan Edwards that the shots, which drew police attention, came from the parking lot of a nursing home on Shepherd Lane, not from the car Jordan was a passenger in. We're not going to accept half measures. We're not going to accept excuses or um, politicking. The Edwards still not speaking publicly after their gathering with the DA, but attorney Jasmine Crockett wonders why Roy Oliver, the fired officer, is only charged with murder. I don't understand why Oliver was not also charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. There were other kids in that car. An aggravated assault deadly weapon charge is easier to make than a murder charge any day of the week. And they want the names of all officers involved that night made public. We know the name of every kid that was involved in it. We want to know this police officer. We want to know whether or not this police officer was involved in prior conducts. Community activists and faith leaders. When a rifle's bullet pierced Jordan Edwards, it pierced all of our hearts. Supporting this family and watching to see what comes of this case. Because we know that the moral arc of the universe is long, but she has the power to bend it towards justice. That's uh, Reverend Michael Waters talking about the district attorney and how she pursues, as he says, justice in this case. Sunday, Mother's Day, 2 o'clock outside the Frank Crowley Courthouse here. There'll be a big rally, Steve, for all families who've lost loved ones in conflicts and confrontations, contacts with police. Okay. Sean Rabb, downtown Dallas. Thank you.